Students at Wellesley College want to expand admission. Right now, the school is for women only. But the students have approved a referendum, which would include applicants who identify as non-binary or transgender men. WBZ's Katrina Kincaid has reaction from the school. Students here at Wellesley College tell us that they overwhelmingly are in favor of expanding the admissions policy, but right now they're dealing with pushback from the administration. Administration has definitely not been supportive, and that's been seen throughout the years. I'm hoping things will change, but I realistically, I don't think they will. The two-part non-binding proposal would allow non-binary people who were born male and transgender men to apply to the school, meaning the school could admit students of any gender except cisgendered men or men who were assigned male at birth. Kira identifies as trans and is the president of Wellesley's Athletes for Trans Rights. It's a cause they're passionate about advocating for at the college. College. I'd say the sentiment is very strong. Uh, there's definitely been a large, like, uh, uprise of students who feel very strongly about it. Even though 90% of the student body voted in favor of the changes, the college president told WBC they don't plan to change anything right now. There's been consistent sit-ins going on uh, at the library, in the science center, and in a lot of the academic buildings of students who feel really strongly about it and want to show their support, so it's been really awesome. The school would also be required to update their current language to be more gender inclusive, getting rid of terms like ladies when addressing the student body. Students tell us while they've already had some sit-ins, they're planning on having more this week in response to the college's reaction to their vote. In Wellesley, Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News.